Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Friendly. Um, yeah, so in this time uh, between social distancing and some self-quarantine and things like that, I've been kind of busy doing other things. I did not put a video out last week because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do yet. So I thought in this video I would show you some of the things that I have been doing and some of the things that we could um, do over the next few weeks, for me anyway. Um, I don't know about the rest of you, but here in Ontario, there's quite a few closures and things like that due to COVID-19. So um, I didn't want to be negative in this video, so I wanted to show you some things that you can do on your own, um, just for fun, to pass the time, obviously. If you can tear yourself away from Netflix and movie watching, it's kind of nice to spend some time in the studio and do something for yourself. It's a little bit more um, therapeutic, I think, in this case. So it's something that we can sort of strive towards and, you know, release some of that anxiety that some of us may be feeling and stuff like that. So <laughs> in this case, I thought I would show you what I have been doing. So in this, um, this is an old book that I've had for a while. Um, oh, see, it won't close at the moment, but the pages are so old that they crumble when you fold them. So I had to use um, washi tape and then a stapler. So in order for the washi tape not to come off because it doesn't stick very well to very old paper, unfortunately. But I like the metallic and I like the, um, the industrialness of it and how it came out. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make my own sort of like uh, project life cards and things like that. Not that I participate in project life, but I like the idea of small collages and being able to use them in a larger setting, like in a scrapbook or just, you know, to have on hand for different reasons. But I've had this one um, set of Paris gift tags for a while. I'm trying to remember where I got it. I don't even know. It's from Cavallini and Company from San Francisco, and they're just little Paris gift tags. I would love to go to Paris one day. It, it's on my bucket list, so I thought it makes some little Project Life cards from those Paris tags, and that's what I've put in here. So, uh, let's see. So all I've done is just taken some scrapbook paper, cut them down, and then I've just made little collages so I could journal on them if I wanted to. I could put them in my um, photo album. I can put them in my bullet journal, whichever I feel like. It's nothing too particular. I want to make a box for these eventually and then have them on a shelf somewhere looking pretty. You know, it's like a Rolodex kind of thing. So that's the idea anyway. So I just wanted to use some stickers and some off cuts and things like that. I thought it turned out well. Now, some of this stuff is pretty old. I've had this for quite some time. So the glue is not as strong as I would like it to be. So I might have to go back and use some proper glue on some of these, but that's okay. Like this one, all these little rhinestones, they're sort of slipping off a bit, which is not that big a deal. I can just use some glue in order to put it back. So. I thought they were a lot of fun and I had a great time making them. So, and then I wanted to make a little box to set them in. I had made a whole bunch of um, journaling tags. So four by six, uh, three by four, three by two. Yeah, three by two, two by three. I don't know, a bunch of different sizes. And then I've got them all stored in a, a different larger kind of drawer organizer and then I have all the little um, tabs for them and things like that. So I've made them basically in three sizes and then you know I'm having fun with it seeing what I can come up with and then I have some Tim Holtz ones that I wanted to do something with. I had these old telephone stickers from the Dollar Tree and Tim Holtz uh, word stickers. So I thought they were kind of cute just to make a few on hand so I can just stick them in my bullet journal or wherever I want to use them. So this little organizer has come in handy for that. I like the glitter washi. I've had this for a very long time. I'm 
thinking it's from the Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure it is. Could also be from Dollarama. I am not entirely positive, but I like how it turned out. As you can see, a lot of these pages have split. I don't even know if you can tell. But see, it's split because it's so dry and so uh, fragile that it would not hold a curve. So I had to fold them all individually and then do them all individually with just the different um, sparkly, you know, fun tape. Um, washi tape. It's not really washi. It's more of a metallic. But And then I stapled them on there. But I love the industrial look of it. And it turned out really well. I really like it. So it'll just sit open on one of my shelves and um, I can just, you know, display letters in it. I can display cards in it. I can do whatever I want with it. But the idea is to be able to recycle an old book. At first, I was very reluctant to. And when I was doing it, my daughter was going, uh, what are you doing to that book? But, you know, it is what it is. And it turned out nice. So I'm not uh, upset about it. And then I was just busy doing some oh, collage. I, I, it's not exactly a bullet journal and it's not an art journal, I suppose. It's more of a, a collage art bullet journal. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense or not. But um, I've been just, you know, journaling. It's trying to be creative in a different way and just having fun. So pictures that I've cut out of magazines and then some Tim Holtz papers, some music paper, and just having fun with it. I've had some old um, um, old cart, uh, scrapbook paper that I've really enjoyed um, revisiting, you know, trying to have different themes to each page. So this is more of a, a romantic kind of theme. I thought it was kind of cool. And I tried to put the date on there so I can sort of see how far along I'm going. And if it's, you know, something I'm enjoying on a daily basis or a weekly basis, just sort of for my own kind of thing. Um, here, <laughs> I bought these um, sets of um, die cuts from Dollar Tree. And they were really kind of cool. They're very tropical. And, you know, the quote says, when you wear and surround yourself with the things you love, your house becomes your own personal paradise. And I kind of like being able to use different uh, stickers and stamps and stuff like that. So I was just having a lot of fun with it. Let's put it that way. And just, you know, trying different things. And this is something that anybody can do because you can try lots of different uh, combinations of styles and you know it doesn't have to be a double page spread you could just do a single one and then do very privately or you can have it big and open and it doesn't really matter you can do all kinds of you know little doors and windows and you can practice lots of different techniques in something like this so I really enjoyed it so I got these stamps from um, AliExpress and some tarot cards they're really beautiful um, I have more coming through the mail, but it's going to be delayed, obviously, due to COVID-19. But, you know, it's like uh, it's something to look forward to. It's something I ordered way back when. And it, I know it takes a while for it to get here, but that's OK. I'm not uh, really worried about it. So but, you know, they're trickling in and every day I get to see something a little bit new and just have fun with it. And then this is uh, on Friday the 13th, you know, just something I try to just do something different little things. And this is a Maya Angelou quote. Uh, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the change that it has gone through to achieve that beauty. So, you know, spring is around the corner. I wanted to do something different. And then here's St. Patrick's Day. It's just something fun to do. So that's as far as I've gotten, obviously. But it's, you know, it's a different way. It's not really collage. It's not really bullet journaling or art journaling, but it's a little bit of everything all at once. So you can use quotes, you can do your own personal thoughts, whatever you feel like. But I'm having a lot of fun going through some of my old things and, you know, my old stamps and things like that. So just really trying to do something a, a bit more on a regular basis. So which is why I have the, um, the date on there, because I want to make sure that I do this regularly or as regularly as I can, obviously. And as you can see, <laughs> it's getting quite thick and I have been gluing the second page to the last page because then you don't see too much of the bleeding. In the beginning, I didn't do that and you could really see the, the 
bleed through from the markers and stuff like that. So that drove me kind of crazy. So I, I just decided to glue them together. It was just easier than trying to worry about what I was using. So those are two things that I've been, uh, three things actually. And then my sketchbook. So my sketchbook, uh, you know, some of it is better than others. <laughs> we won't look at those, but um, some of this might be familiar to you. Just trying to do different things. So this is watercolors and then some heat embossing on top of it. I really like the idea of this. Um, I, sometimes I practice different techniques to see how it would look and then I could translate it to like cardstock or things like that. Something that would be more um, relatable to either art journaling or to um, cards and things like that. So background. So here I used a, a white embossing powder with um, some crackle effect stamps and I really liked how the 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 red and the pinkish color and then the white over top of it sort of it makes it look very abstract I kind of like that and then I was just going through my um, uh, gel pens and some of the colors are pretty bright so I was just having fun with some watercolors in the background and then some one color gel pen just to see what I can come up with and then this one is um, watercolor circles and then I just stamped an image over top so this would translate really nicely to a card also so you know depending on what color you use for the the background you could use whatever shape you want it but I like the effect of the um, the starkness of the color and then the black and then the complete white background I like that space around it so I just wanted to sort of see how that would look. And I used my, oh my goodness, what did I use? Um, my oh, watercolor paint brushes. So I have these ones, they already have the, um, the watercolors in them. I got these at the dollar store. And so I just use extra water on my palette and then I would use this for the background and as you can see, they're very uh, bright and vivid. And there's another one, there's a purple. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I knew there was another one. But as you can see, that they really look really nice and they blend well together. So for an application like this, it's perfect. So you don't always have to use your, you know, your stamp pads and things like that. So it's kind of nice to be able to experiment a little bit with different um, art utensils, techniques, tools, whatever you want to call them. So here is Bunny and the Insect in the Secret Garden. So I started off with this one little thing over here and then it went everywhere. <laughs> and then I wanted to do the background. So what I used was my um, dollar store watercolor markers. So I really, really love these. I would, I think I need to buy another set because I think these are almost empty. I don't think you can get refills for these. But these are the craft markers from Dollarama. I love these. They are gorgeous to work with. As you can see, the colors are really as subtle or as bright as you want them to be. So I just have all the different colors. So there's quite a few I have here. Um, I can't hold them all in one hand, so it's okay. But as you can see, you know, I've been trying to... Um, just sketch and then play with watercolors, you know, create something a little bit different. Um, it was just supposed to be one little area, but it sort of ballooned out, obviously. But I wanted to sort of play with like a, a, a sky and cloud and, you know, lettering and things like that. Now for lettering, my handwriting is, well, pretty bad. <laughs> it's not the greatest, let's put it that way. So I use a stencil and that's, you know, it comes in handy for this kind of thing. I have lots of different um, stencils. These were like a frosty clear kind of color and I just had my husband spray paint them black so I can actually see when I'm, you know, using them. Um, but, you know, I have quite a few of these in my binder of stencils. So they're all different kinds of um, uh, fonts and things like that. So 
If your handwriting is as horrible as mine, using a stencil and cheating a little bit, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, just saying. You know, it's like, who is to say it is cheating? I sort of fudged with the, the letters a bit. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. So, but when you look at it, you know, it's like I do that double line that I really enjoy. And then it looks more um, painterly, you know, more watercolor-esque, I suppose, if you want to call it that way. And then, you know, little bunnies eating the grass. And I did lots of little flies and dragonflies and, you know, my little ladybugs. They're so cute. I really like how they turned out. And then butterflies and I don't know, I just have fun with it. I just experimented and played with it. And then I think this is my last one. It's called Under the Sea. And in this case, I worked with circles and sea creatures. So it's, I've never drawn any of these um, sea creatures before. So I was having an awful lot of fun playing with it. And it looks like they're in their own little separate worlds and things like that. But I love how the octopus turned out and the whale. Um, I did not use pencil at first, I just, or at all, rather, I just used my, oh, let's see, not micron pens, it's the ones from the Dollar, no, Bucker 2, I think, okay, for some reason I can't locate them at the moment, uh, let's see, I have them here somewhere, here we go, so I used these ones. They come in different um, sizes, but that's okay, which is perfect for this kind of uh, job. But I just start sketching. So I usually start with one single um, critter. <laughs> in this case, it was the whale. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, I did not use pencil, so I couldn't erase this line, but I just worked around it. I'm not concerned about it, so. If it really does bother you, obviously go first in pencil and whatnot else. I, I find that a waste of my own time. And I sometimes like the mistakes, how they turn out. Like my turtle is not the greatest. Like from here to there is perfect, but the head is not great, you know. And is this really what a seahorse looks like? No, probably not, but that's all right. So, you know, an imaginary under the sea kind of creature feature kind of thing. But... You know, I used, I made the little, so I used the stencil again, rather, made little bubbles and just sort of played with it, you know, my little sea anemones and my sea snail and just having fun with it, you know, it's just really cute. I really like how it turned out. So this octopus has his own little bubble for his head, <laughs> but you know, his tentacles are on the outside. So it's kind of, I like how it turned out. So I think the next one, um, maybe I'll take you along with me and I'll show you what I'm doing next. Um, I haven't really decided yet 100%, but I have a few ideas floating around in my head. So yeah, that is it. And the circle stencil that I use is the Fiskars one, um, the Fiskars template. Remember the Fiskars cutting? So I have the rotator cutting, whatnot else. But then I just use these to draw the circles, the original circle, and then I do the double, triple line, and then it just makes it more um, like a sketch kind of thing. So I, it, it's, is it cheating? I don't think so, but you know, I had a lot of fun with it. And uh, in the end, it's still my own design. And you know, it it's, definitely my style so yeah I enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun so that is it that's what I've been up to um I just wanted to say that you know it's like if you're stuck at home try different things do something either creative if you're you know single or in a relationship it doesn't matter if you have time on your own and you want to do something creative go for it if you have a family and you really don't have time for this, maybe this is a good time to sort of go through each individual room in your house and, you know, spring cleaning. I mean, spring is just around the corner. So spring cleaning, now is your chance to get it all done and cleaned up and, you know, get it all squared away. And then you have your whole spring and summer to yourselves and you can relax and just do whatever. Um, 
I've been trying to just stay busy, really. I've been doing this for the last couple of years anyway, so this is not a huge stretch for myself, but you know, those of us who enjoy being around other people, this might be a bit more of a difficult time for them, but you know, we do it because we want to protect others and this is our way of contributing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm hoping to have more videos out. Now, I do have an awful lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So um, if you enjoyed this one and you want to see others, by all means, you know, go through the whole list. There's quite a few there. So and if you want to, you know, paint along or draw along with some of them, um, be my guest. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.